Hello, everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we are briefly going to discuss the genealogy and the coat of arms of Mary Lyon. Now, in this video, we are looking for the coat of arms that belonged to her ancestors. This does not necessarily mean that she had the right to bear the arms and use it in a legal or official capacity. So again, to reiterate, we are looking for the coats, the coat of arms of Mary Lyon's ancestors. So to start, we have to first explain who she was. Mary Mason Lyon was a pioneer in women's education who established Wheaton Female Seminary and later Mount Holyoke Female Seminary, now Wheaton College and Mount Holyoke College, respectively. She served as principal from the latter from 1837 to 1849. She was born into a farming family and her father died when she was only five years old. And here we see her tombstone and her grave on the property of Mount Holyoke College. So to start with, we have her mother and her father. Now we can go up either of these lines to see if there was a coat of arms, either the mother or the father. For this video, we're gonna start with the father and the lion lineage. So let's show Mary's pedigree chart, starting with herself, born in 1797 in Massachusetts. Her father, Aaron, born in 15, 1757 in Massachusetts, so on and so forth, until we get all the way back to a man named Sir John Lyon, who was born around the year 1289 AD in Northamptonshire, England. Now, if we single in on him, we see he is Mary's 14th great grandfather, 14x great grandfather. And he was born in Workwith, Northamptonshire, England, the son of John Lyons and Marjorie Oakley. Now, we have him identified, and next we're going to look for his coat of arms. Now, the issue is, is that some surnames, a lot of surnames, have multiple coats of arms because coats of arms were granted to individuals and not entire families. So the question becomes, how do we know which of these coats of arms belonged to our John Lyon that was mentioned in this slide. So how do we know which one it is? What I did is I went to some historical sources and I found a Sir John Lyons listed in a book known as Some Feudal Coats of Arms by Joseph Foster, published in the early 1900s. And this entry here says that he bore at the second Dunstable tournament of 1334, the following coat of arms, Argent, a lion rampant gules. In other words, a white shield with a red lion. And it cites the source as the Ashmore roll. Now, the Dunstable tournament held in 1334 aligns nicely with his, with the years that he lived. So we know that that kind of makes sense. And here we see an example of a tournament. The Dunstable tournament of 1334 was the actual second one. And what would happen at a tournament is jousting and melees and other fights and feats from knights who were invited from different areas. Now, if you enjoyed this video and have questions or would like to find out your genealogy, 
and whether or not your ancestors owned a coat of arms, please visit coadb.com. All we need to start with is some basic information about you and your parents and your grandparents. If you have that, we can go ahead and get started, and we hope that you will be impressed with the results. Thank you.